hello i'm comparing and contrasting the drunk elephant c from a day serum and the ula herrickson truth serum so i've been using both of these products for at least a month each now actually i finished one of these already and then i just started using this one regularly so I feel like I have a good sense of how they perform or don't perform. But before I get into that, I'm just gonna talk briefly about the ingredients in both of them. Um, the Drunk Elephant brand is really recommended by Paula's Choice. She or her people really like Drunk Elephant because of its packaging, um, especially for vitamin C. It's important that the packaging is opaque so that the vitamin C can remain stable because vitamin C really destabilizes quite easily. I think all of Drunk Elephant's products come in sort of like an airtight sort of pump. So Paula has lots of good things to say about this particular product. And Drunk Elephant, from what I understand, basically is an all-natural brand. Ula Herrickson is, in my opinion, it has a more clinical kind of reputation. This is the Truth Serum. It just says collagen boosted with True C Complex. Um, it's obviously not in a fully opaque bottle. It's this frosted orange glass, but I believe that the vitamin C used in this is sort of a derivative and it's not like natural vitamin C, so it is already sort of engineered to be quite stable. Basically, the Drunk Elephant product claims to make the skin appear smoother, brighter and more radiant, firmer, more even. Packaging here says, um, not much. Formulated with a potent antioxidant complex of 15% L-asorbic acid, 0.5% ferulic acid, and 1% vitamin E plus other formula supportive enzymes and antioxidants that help neutralize pollution and other damaging free radicals. A lot of people do like to put vitamin C on under their SPF or their makeup to help with the free radicals, but I tend to use it at nighttime. I don't really get that much sunlight here in New York City. So this particular product comes in a set, uh, the Rise and Glow Duo with the Be Hydra Intensive Hydration Gel, which I've done a review on. I'll link that down below. This entire set of two products at um, 0.27 fluid ounces comes at the price of $23 for the two of them. So if you want to split it down the middle, you can say that this particular 0.27 fluid ounce product retails for $11.50. It's very little, but it took me 11 months to finish up one of these babies. Vitamin C supposedly stays active on your skin for up to 72 hours, so that means I use this every three days. You don't have to, you can use it every day, but that's what I did and this little thing lasted me 11 months. The full size version of the Drunk Elephant product is one fluid ounce and it retails for $80, which is... Although I will tell you that's about four times the size of this. Yes, it'll last you if you use it the way I do, almost four years. The Ula Henriksen Truth Serum this little thing is 0.25 fluid ounces, so it's just a touch smaller than this one. I got this in a little kit. It came with the Truth uh, cleansing wipes. I don't know what they're called, but they were like vitamin C wipes. The two of them combined were $10, but it was like a special deal or something at Sephora. But this product does come in three different sizes. The one ounce version is $48, which already is a heck of a lot cheaper than the $80 price tag on the Drunk Elephant product. You can also get it at the 1.7 and 3.4 ounce sizes. I think the 1.7 is about $72 and 3.4 ounce is $128. I haven't been using this for a year yet. I just started using this about a little bit more than a month ago, I believe. But um, I do think this won't last as long as the Drunk Elephant because we can see it's about a fourth done already, fourth finished. The differences between the formulations of these products, I'm not a scientist, dermatologist, or anything like that, but um, straight off the bat, they do contain a lot of the same ingredients. The Ula Henriksen contains calcium, ascorbate, glycerin, vitamin E, aloe leaf juice, orange fruit extract, camellia, sinensis leaf extract. Um, rose, uh, camellia fruit extract. 
citric acid and then a bunch of other chemicals which I don't think are actually directly related to vitamin C or any sort of fruit or seed or leaf extract. The Ulla Henriksen product claims to contain collagen. It also claims to soften and condition the skin and help nourish it. And of course, as a vitamin C product, it claims to help fight signs of aging, helps brighten and firm the skin. And then because of the sodium hyaluronate or hyaluronic acid, it claims to help hydrate the skin as well. Of note, the Drunk Elephant product also contains sodium hyaluronate. So the main difference that I see in the two ingredients lists are that the Ulla Henriksen product, the Truth Serum, does not contain ferulic acid and it contains dimethicone. If you look at the list of ingredients, of course the Drunk Elephant product, well it claims to be sort of like a brand that uses clean ingredients. So the ingredients do seem a lot more natural, a lot more fruit, seed, leaf extracts, natural extracts. For me personally, I saw an immediate difference when I used the Drunk Elephant product. The next morning I woke up and my skin was so much more even. It was brighter and it just seemed like glowy, glowing. Of course, I used the Ulla Henriksen product second, so maybe my skin had gotten used to the vitamin C going into it already. That might be a factor in why I wasn't as impressed or didn't notice as great of an effect from the Truth Serum. Secondly, the textures are wildly different. The um, Ulla Henriksen product is, you can tell that there's dimethicone in there, I think. I guess it's what you would associate with a serum. It's a little bit slimy, but it's very easy to spread. It's very, goes on really evenly and things like that. The Drunk Elephant product is not that. I don't even really know how to describe the texture. It comes out quite oily, but then as you pat it into skin, it becomes sticky. Um, it does dry down rather quickly, but it's, it's a very strange kind of texture. And it's definitely much more difficult to spread around because it becomes sticky so quickly. I wouldn't say that it's thicker necessarily because it is runny, but definitely the Ulla Henriksen product is much more easy to spread. The Ulla Henriksen product has a much more pleasant scent. It smells of orange creamsicle. Whereas the Drunk Elephant one smells like pumpkin, which it does contain. It smells like pumpkin to me with a bit of orange in it. To others, it smells like burnt hot dogs. But it's not a scent that everyone would like. I mean, not to say that everyone likes the scent of creamsicle, but it's, it's a more generic, happy-making smell. I do feel a bit of sting for both products, but I think with the drug elephant i feel more of a sting and to me that means it's working better harder that might not be true but you know my feeling is which is completely not scientific is that you get more of a bang for your buck with this because the ingredients going into it are directly related to vitamin c they like add on to it and they're not sort of diluted by some other ingredients like dimethicone or Oh uh, gosh, I don't even know what some of these things are. Phenoxyethanol, which sounds like an alcohol to me. To me, this is much more of a pure product. And then of course, because this is so much more easy, easy to spread and it contains like dimethicone and glycerin in it, I feel like this, I go through this a lot more quickly. And plus it has a pump that releases a little bit more product than the uh, Drunk Elephant product. So while the Drunk Elephant product might be more expensive, I don't know in terms of how quickly you go through the two products. It might be somewhat equivalent, although I don't know if it's really worth the extra $32. I don't think it's that much faster. It's, that's almost like 100% of the product. So ultimately, if I had to choose between the two products, I personally prefer the Drunk Elephant. I feel like, like I said, you get more um, bang for the buck. Um, I think it might last a little bit longer. Those are my thoughts on the two vitamin C serums. Let me know if you've tried either or both products and what you thought. And let me know if there are more affordable vitamin C serums that you think are really effective out there. I am still interested in trying the Ordinary's vitamin C, especially since they're coming out with more vitamin C serum products that are not like the one that I heard is gritty or anything like that. Um, next time I order from the Ordinary, which probably won't be till next year or so, I will try to check that one out. But let me know if anything else piques your interest. Hey, I hope this video was helpful to you. Let me know if you have any questions or comments as always. Thanks for watching and for subscribing and I'll see you next time.